our two ministers Samugan and Balakrishna, they got a big play to stay. Look at this! Who led? Who led for this? And they also have swimming pool. Oh my god! All the land belongs to them. And they rented it. And it's something like colonial houses where only very, very rich people could stay. Oh, our Mr. Mr. are so rich. Of course they are rich. They earn millions of dollars every year. Because of this, a lot of people are jealous, you know. How could our Mr. stay in such a big houses where a lot of Singaporeans struggling to pay for the HDB flats? Struggling to pay the mortgage. They're so ridiculous. Mr. Sulu stay there. What the hell that we should complain about it and what the hell that like, we should jealous about it. See this man. This man, uh, something like opposition, politician. Keep on talking about so ridiculous for minister to rent the house. If I were a minister, I would buy it. I would not rent it. Or I buy other properties in other countries. What should I rent it? Rent it. Give me our money, we are return. In other words, if they are really rent the place, they are sacrificing their income of their income to the government so isn't that good if they rent the place instead of buying the place buying the place means investment but they are not buying the place they are renting the place to stay and moreover the place has been vacant for more than four years and nobody is renting it so in order not to waste it they rent the place from the government so what's wrong with that? Some will say that maybe they bid for the land, the houses at very low price. Maybe they only rent about 1000 Maybe they only rent for 2000 or around there. But so what? If the opposition or other people want to rent it, they rent it. But why no one's renting it until the minister rented it? So what's wrong even they rent the place about 1000 and 2000 or even free or $1 maybe? So what? It doesn't concern us because they deserve to stay in the place like this. Three as for their hard work. Oh, a lot they've been doing so hard for Singapore. So children, they deserve something special as a bonus, as a gift from government. Look at other countries, you know. All those corrupt officers. For example, Najib. They stay in a big penthouse somewhere in Kuala Lumpur. Three as uh, something that they deserve it because they're working hard for Singapore for many, many years. So treat it as a bonus. So what should we care about that? We live our life. We live in HDB flats. So what? They deserve what they deserve And we deserve what we deserve too And is our life going worse now? No, our life is getting better because Singapore is progressing And because of them, our standard of living go up Look at the taxi drivers Ooh. How much they earn every month? Around 5,000 Singapore dollars And that's enough for good life And they're not happy with that They can go to Malaysia, Indonesia and enjoy like a king. So what the hell are people complaining about our PAP minister stay in a, such a big land with streaming pool? And some opposition just get very jealous of the ministers. <laughs> Can you believe that they're so jealous? They're jealous of everything that whatever our government is doing. Because those oppositions are really losers. They can't get what they want, but they're only jealous and disagree what others have. So what do you think guys? Do our ministers deserve to stay in such a luxurious houses? Do leave down comments, subscribe, like and share. Ciao!